generally don't try to describe my music because I'm not very good at it. But um, I've played gigs where there's been old people like in their 80s and they hear it completely differently. And, and that's so great, you know, that you can play music that's really open for people to take in because it's maybe they haven't heard stuff that's similar to it and, and it'll just sort of create new patterns of thinking for them as well. Uh, I think the biggest thing for me was uh, when I was living in Trondheim and practicing a lot doing my master's degree and there's all these really brilliant young musicians you know playing jazz music really fast really brilliantly and you get this feeling that you're not good enough because you can't do that and I wasn't really into it I didn't really want to do it and you keep thinking that oh, I should be doing this and I should be doing that and uh, I was hitting more walls than I was passing through sort of thing and and suddenly it just uh, it sounds really stupid but at one point I just thought, hold on, <laughs> I can do whatever I want. I don't have to do this. I just have to play. And it'll, you know, if it doesn't work, at least I tried, you know. And uh, I just remember going into the rehearsal room again and uh, everything was fun and all my music changed. And it was suddenly this whole new world for me personally that opened up. I guess I am fairly emotional <laughs> and unrational. So uh, no, I think every music musician has a, a state of mind you you sort of go into before going on stage or playing your instrument. And uh, for me, uh, my music is about uh, delivering uh, the music I hear and the music I feel very emotional about. Uh, it's not about technique or that I need to be uh, a fast guitar player or something like that, so I can focus all my energy into my music. And um, I have my own ways of going into that state of mind, which uh, for everybody else might, you know, seem crazy if they knew what I was thinking. But it's, uh, yeah, I think everybody does that, you know, you go into your own little world and you stay there and, uh, for a while. When I actually play, I don't think at all. If I start to think, then I, I start to judge. And if I start to judge, things move slower and I'm not doing it right. It, does, it just doesn't work as well. Uh, so, but I, I guess all the music I listen to sort of is in that big melting pot, you know. Luckily, I come from a country which has a very broad uh, musical life, and that's that's very inspiring to me. You know that you can go and check out uh, and know on a daily basis people who do a wide range of music and to a very high professional level. So that's uh, that's always a always a nice thing to aspire to, you know, and get inspired from. I think you just need to stick with whatever feels best to play and and then interesting stuff will happen you know Pe people will look at you and say what on earth are you doing yeah that sounds awful it's all it's all natural there's a lot of uh, young musicians out there who are really, really brilliant, but uh, also at the same time you're trying to be somebody else, you know. You're always trying to be best at something, because uh, that's that's the easiest way to go, sort of thing. Uh, 
which uh, isn't always the best thing. I mean, there's so many musicians out there, so the, I, th I think the best thing you can do is just to uh, try to play the music you like and without compromise and stick with it. Mm -hmm.